Former rebel Gustavo Petro narrowly won a runoff election over a political outsider millionaire Sunday, ushering in a new era of politics for Colombia by becoming the country's first leftist president. Petro, a senator in his third attempt to win the presidency, got 50.48% of the votes, while real estate magnate Rodolfo Hernandez had 47.26% with almost all ballots counted according to results released by election authorities. Petro's victory underlined a drastic change in presidential politics for a country that has long marginalized the left for its perceived association with the armed conflict. Petro himself was once a rebel with the now defunct M19 movement and was granted amnesty after being jailed for his involvement with the group. Today is a day of celebration for the people. Let them celebrate the first popular victory, Petro tweeted. May so many sufferings be cautioned in the joy that today flutes the heart of the homeland. Petro issued a call for unity during his victory speech and extended an olive branch to some of his harshest critics, saying all members of the opposition will be welcomed at the presidential palace to discuss the problems of Colombia. For this government that is beginning, there will never be political persecution or legal persecution, there will only be respect and dialogue. He said, adding that he will listen to not only those who have raised arms but also to that silent majority of peasants, indigenous people, women, youth. Outgoing conservative President Ivan Duque congratulated Petro shortly after results were announced, and Hernandez quickly conceded his defeat. I accept the result as it should be, if we want our institutions to be firm, Hernandez said in a video on social media. I sincerely hope that this decision is beneficial for everyone. Colombia also elected its first black woman to be vice president. Petro's running mate, Francia Marquez, is a lawyer and environmental leader whose opposition to illegal mining has resulted in threats and a grenade attack in 2019. The vote came amid widespread discontent over rising inequality, inflation and violence factors that led voters in the election's first round last month to turn their backs on the long-governing centrics and right-leaning politicians and choose to outsiders in Latin America's third most populous nation.